In this video, we introduce the concept of responsibility accounting. What that involves is reporting the costs on the basis of the manager who has the authority to make the day-to-day -day decisions. This means that we are evaluating the manager's performance based on costs that are directly under the manager's control. As a manager, you are responsible for controlling costs. So we look at the different levels of that responsibility. And it depends where you are in the organization. For example, this fellow here might be saying, I am responsible for controlling costs in my department. Well, this person might be in charge of a number of departments that are part of a division. And this is the big cheese, the uh, CEO. All right, and he's going to be measured on his performance of overseeing both the divisions and the departments. And they look at those costs that are controlled by the managers. All managers in the business are responsible for a particular area of the business. That is, that's what's under their control. And if it's under their control, then they are accountable for the costs incurred in those what are called responsibility centers. Now we're talking about from the lowest levels of management all the way up to top management. Responsibility accounting is very uh, valuable for a decentralized company. Now what is a decentralized company? Well, basically a centralized company is a company where all decision making is centralized by the top management. A decentralized company means that the managers at different levels within the companies are making their own decisions. They don't have to seek the approval of senior management. For example, now we have a large company here, Francis Chair Company. Now at the lowest level we have department managers. There's the fabricating department, the uh, enameling department, the assembly department within a plant, within each of these plants. Now, of course, there are three plants, so we're looking at there's a manager at each of these plants, and in the plants, there would be managers at each of these divisions. Now, these plants would all report to a vice president who would overlook the activities of each of these plants, and then at top of the chain is the president. And, of course, they're going to get reports of activities from each level. And so this and this is an example of the report. So here we have a report at the departmental level and there's the budget and there's the actual direct materials, direct labor, overhead. This is what they thought they would spend. This is exactly what they spent. This is the uh, variance. U is unfavorable. F is favorable. So these reports of the department would go up to the plant manager. Now the plant manager, of course, would be responsible for each of the three departments. And so he would get a budget of the totals here at each of the three departments. Then his activity, these totals he has between what he budgeted for those three um, assembly plants and what was actually spent and the variance would come up to his level at the vice president. And then finally up to the president. So that's the idea of responsibility accounting reports on the budget and actual costs incurred at the lowest level and moving up through the organization to the very top. Each manager at each level responsible for controlling those costs. And that's the idea of responsibility accounting.